Hi, my name is Justin. I work for IntelliGuard. I'm going to demonstrate how to unpack, prepare, and use a macaw backpack. First off, we have the accessory tray, which in the accessory tray is your owner's manual, which you should um, revise and go through, your smoothbore nozzle, and your sample foam pack. Inside the box is the macaw itself. In order to take the macaw out, you pick it up by the handle, not by the air, air hose. Take it out, sit it down. What's left in the box is your funnel for filling and your hose. Set up the straps for your pack. You unbuckle them. Loosen the straps so that anybody can get into it, not just yourself. After you've adjusted your straps and everything looks set, um, in case you do get confused, there is a quick fit adjustment guide here that you can watch you through step by step. The bottle is a 4,500 pound PSI bottle, so it is under pressure at all times. You want to make sure that your strap is strapped into, your bottle is strapped into the tank itself and seat it in. Storing these bottles, you want to store them in a secure location or on the ground, um, never standing up, laying on their side all the time. When you connect this bottle, this connection here, this fitting, needs to be no more than hand tight. The air pressure in the O-ring inside will keep it tight. You don't want to turn your bottle on yet because you haven't went through the proper procedures yet. Next thing you want to do is hook up your hose handset. It's just a quick fit. The snaps on there. Then you'll take in your accessory box your smoothbore nozzle, connect it in. Once you've done that, you're ready to fill your container, your macaw. Um, takes one class, one eight ounce container per five gallons. We'll go ahead and fill this. When you're finished filling your tank, that's when you add your class H. Um, preferable that you add your, your foam after you fill. That way you don't get the excess foam of it bubbling up. We filled from a hose. Um, the funnel is supplied, so in case you're in the field or someplace where you're pouring from a five-gallon bucket, you have a funnel. Less of a mess. So we're going to add our foam to our five gallons. Put our lid back on. Now keep in mind that this body here is never under pressure. The only thing under pressure is the bottle itself to the pump. So if you're in the field, you can always refill while this is still on. You don't have to take and shut it all down. Make sure all our connections are good. At this point, you're ready to set your wet or dryer foam according to the nozzle you're going to use. We're going to use the smoothbore nozzle, so we're going to set to a dryer foam. This trigger handset does have a trigger lock on it. So you want to make sure before you turn your bottle on that it is unlocked. That is the lock position. It's unlocked there.
So we got it on our dryer foam. We're going to turn our bottle on. You might hear the pump cycle a couple times. That's just filling the lines with the uh, fluid. Turn your bottle all the way on. Now you're ready to put your pack on. So we're going to start off putting it on our straps. You got your cylinder pressure here, so you don't have to take the pack off to know how much pressure you have left in your cylinder. Make sure everything's nice and tight and feels comfortable, and you're ready to shoot. Got your nozzle. It's all connected, and you're ready to shoot. When you're done using the backpack, you can take the pack off and store it as is with the fluid that you have left in it, if you have any left in it, for a period of time so it's in a ready status in case you're going off. The thing about it is you must turn off your cylinder. Leave the pressure that's in the, the system just by pulling the trigger. Now your system's ready for storage or for cleaning and maintenance. Like I said, you can reuse and use what you have left and keep it in a ready status so it's ready to go when you need it, or you can go through the cleaning procedures, which is Empty the tank out, fill it with water, run it through the full wet cycle with the air on, and rinse the system out, and it's ready for storage, long period of storage. A few things to remember. Avoid long-term exposure to the sun. To double check and make sure that you're, you bleed, you bled the pressure in the system, double check your shoulder gauge. It should read zero. If it does not, double check your bottle, make sure it's turned off and pull the trigger again. Keep in mind that you can refill this macaw three times on one 4,500 pound PSI bottle of air.